Oh, it's Gary Fox here, and uh, tonight I'm going to talk about a couple of uh, manuals that I've recently come to find out exist. Um, I have a long-time listener, the uh, guy that uh, we were talking about the uh, clock, when we were talking about making a clock face, um, and he has uh, found a couple of manuals that do exist. The first manual I'm going to show you is this one here, and it's a user manual for LibreCAD 2.0. Now, if you're like me, you're using 1.0 uh, right now. 2.0 is in beta testing. Um, and if you like being on the bleeding edge, then you are working with 2.0. But this will do two things for you. One of them is that it does show all of the uh, buttons. And then there may be a few that don't exist in the uh, current version. But it describes it in words in case you get tired of having to go back to uh, videos. Uh, the second thing I'm going to do for you, uh, and it shows how to draw lines, etc., etc., the second thing that it does is it shows you how to uh, some features that are coming and uh, let's show those go a little bit further down on this thing I, it teaches you everything that uh, uh, that I've talked about and probably a little bit more uh, he was a little bit more organized when he did it. I did it while I was learning and so I had to come back and create and correct a couple mistakes that I did in some of my videos. But here's the new one that's coming in version 2.0 uh, that's going to be able to draw drawings in what's called isometric and so that looks like a 3D drawing. In three-dimensional you got two things that can happen. One of them is perspective and then in 3D drawings, a lot of drawings are done in this method right here where there's basically three different lines. And we'll be getting into that in just a minute. And a little detail on another one of these uh, manuals. Anyhow, uh, and that kind of shows you how they, they set it up with the XYZ coordinates. And then uh, how you can draw a drawing once you get to version 2.0. I'm choosing... Not to try to load, download 2.0 because it's not official one for uh, uh, Ubuntu, which is the uh, version of Linux I use. Uh, I've got the most current, and I really don't want to try a beta version because I depend on it pretty often to create the uh, sketches I do for my website. So I don't want to be on the uh, leading edge of, of things. However... If those of you that uh, are not as dependent, it would be really nice to go ahead and uh, download the 2.0, the beta versions, and then uh, test it, have fun with it, and then uh, when you find problems there, go ahead and uh, give them a bug. Tell them that there's a bug in the uh, software and they'll be able to correct it. Uh, finding bugs is as important as writing the software. And they will tell you that themselves. I will go to their site in just a minute. Anyhow, this does show what's coming. Uh, and uh, you will be able to uh, draw something that looks as if it's in 3D. Okay, the second tutorial. And both of these tutorials, the uh, links will be in the uh, video notes. Is this one here it says drawing a little mechanical part and using LibreCAD. And this is very well written. And uh, you're going to actually draw a part both in a two-dimensional view and a three-dimensional view with a cutaway on it. And uh, the three-dimensional is done also in isometric type drawing. But this one is in version 1.0. And he describes all the isometrics the hard way, the complicated way. Uh, this gives you a very good video or a very good 
explanation of what all the uh, buttons are that's on a uh, it's on LibreCAD. Describes all the snaps. Both of these were written for someone that's using Windows. Uh, for those of you, us that use Linux, uh, it works the same way. <laughs> Anyhow, this shows how to draw the drawing, and he's showing that part first. But then later on, he talks about what an isometric drawing is, and where you've got everything at, I think, uh, 60 degree angles from each other. And... Uh, that's how you draw a uh, isometric drawing, and he does it the hard way, uh, which will give you an idea of what it takes to draw one right now. But soon, there will be the isometric grid, so it'll be a whole lot easier. But this will let you wrap your mind around uh, what a uh, isometric is and what it takes to draw one. Isometric drawings in the line of work that I'm in, I'm an electrical engineer. But we have, uh, we do a lot of work on uh, chemical plants. And all of the piping is drawn in isometric views. Uh, some of it's drawn, we're using 3D CAD also. But the traditional way is drawn isometrics that allows a uh, guy to know where things are in the pipe. If you've got adapters and bushings and uh, valves and all the different sorts of things that are going to be put inside that pipe. So anyhow, these are two very good videos, or very good, not videos, uh, PDFs. So it's something you can print out, something you can read, something you can go back to. It's a little bit easier in some ways than the videos. So it's all good. Uh, the first one, by the way, is done, if you noticed, is done with a um, share and share alike license which is the way I'm doing all of my stuff which means that all he cares about is you can modify it improve it do whatever and put your name on it but you need to at least give him credit for the original version and if you go out and look at stuff you can find out uh, what that means so the guy's done a really good job and uh, it's really nice to support those people Okay, the other things that I'm going to do is, uh, while well, this I'm doing this short video, I want to show you the LibreCAD organization site. And if you just go to LibreCAD.org, you will find it. And then there is a link here on it. So we'll go to their home site. And there's a link right in here for their wiki, their forum, and they have a blog. And then... For those of you that like to be on the bleeding edge, uh, they have the code for the latest and greatest version so that you can compile it. Uh, and that's the versions that are still being tested. And if you're a person that actually knows how to program and really want to get involved, that's it. It's also where you can do your downloads and you can download the, uh, the versions of it for the different operating systems. It's not the way I get my downloads, but that's the way of doing it. Um, anyhow, if you go back to that home, and you go to the forum, uh, that's a good place to find out questions that people have, so on and so forth. And uh, you can find tips and techniques, uh, etc. So you, it's a good place to find questions, answers to questions that you may have. The final one that I'm going to show, these people have uh, sent a lot of people to my website, and uh, it's all in Spanish, unfortunately, and I'm an American, and so uh, I only know English, uh, but this looks like a very good site that talks about it, and what its purpose is, I had to go to Google Translate, says, we are a group of architects who use free software in their work. We are creating a community to spread the benefits that free software can provide architects and building professionals who want to implement it in their office. So uh, that's probably a really good professional sort of site, one that you may want to consider, especially if you speak Spanish. 
And from what I understand, Portuguese is very similar. And Spanish is something I'd like to learn someday, but unfortunately I don't know how to, how to speak it. Anyhow, those are four good sites. All the links will be in the uh, video notes. And hopefully you find this useful and uh, beneficial to you. Appreciate you listening. This is Gary Fox of Create and Make.